Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Prathana and I am a German teacher as well as a learner and I am here to help you score full marks in your German exam. In this video, we are going to talk about how to score full marks in your A2 expression exam or your oral exam. I have made similar video in the past uh, for A1 level and that video helped a lot of people to score good to full marks in their expression exam. So I thought why not make something for you guys as well. This video is the continuation of series prepare for your A2 German exam. I have made a video regarding what all resources you need to prepare for your A2 German exam. If you like such videos, give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now, before further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first let's see how many parts or how many tiles you have in your oral exam. Your oral exam is going to be divided into three parts or three tiles if you like to call it that. The duration for your expression exam will be around 15 to 20 minutes. The tile 1 or the part 1 of your oral exam will consist of question and answer round. This will be for 4 marks. Your tile 2 consists of speak on a topic. This is what I like to call it. You have to speak on a given topic and this will be for 8 marks. And lastly your tile 3 will consist of timetable which will again be for 8 marks. Next, in your A2 exam, there will be separate 5 points. Remember, separate 5 points for pronunciation. So you need to level up your game when it comes to pronunciation. So in total, if you add up, it goes for 25 marks. Thus, your expression exam is going to be of 25 marks. Now, your tile 1 or your part 1 consists of question answer round. In this round, you are going to get a set of flashcards and you have to pick four flashcards basically you have to pick four flashcards and uh, the flashcard will consist of one word based on which you have to ask question to your partner when i say ask question to your partner i only and only mean ask wh question so because you have four flashcards in total you're going to ask your partner four different types of questions based on four different types of words for example i have the a2 paper right here and one of the word is Schuler. So you can ask, we heist deine Schuler. What is your school name? Now, once you have asked question to your partner, your partner will answer that question. Similarly, it will be vice versa. Your partner is going to ask question to you and you have to answer it. Now, remember while answering question, especially for A2 level, you have to level up your game. So you cannot answer the question in just one word or even one sentence hear it again you can't answer your question in one word or even one sentence you have to answer questions more than one sentence so for example if they ask you when is your birthday you can say that your birthday is on for example 31st may and you can just say i always celebrated with my family it doesn't matter if the question has a very specific answer. You have to add up at least one line of your own to get full marks. Now, when you get the flashcard, you will have 20 seconds to frame that question in your mind. So make sure you frame the question grammatically correct and then speak or then ask your partner. But you may fumble while asking questions and that's totally fine. You can say sorry and reframe your question. That's fine, you're not gonna lose any marks. But just don't go along with the wrong question when you actually know that this is grammatically wrong. Don't go along with that question. Say sorry in German and then you can move on with the correct question. I have got a lot of comments and DMs saying that is it okay if I use do form for asking question or if I can use Z form for asking question. Yes, you can use any form you like it's totally okay and you will not lose any single mark it's okay if you want to go with do form it's okay if you want to go with z form now what i would suggest is that if you're someone who gets confused when it comes to conjugating a verb then i would suggest go with the z form because you never have to conjugate the verb itself that means you're not really going to lose any marks because you're not going to make mistakes while conjugating that specific verb 
And the last thing I would like to say for tile 1 is that if there's no WH question you can frame with that given word, it's fine, you can go with yes or no question. At this moment, you're not going to really lose marks. So when you think that no WH question can be used for this specific word it's fine you can completely go for yes or no questions just one last tip i, I promise this is one last tip and it happens with most of the people you guys have dm me this a lot of times that it happens that your partner speaks very fast and it's quite difficult for you to understand what he or she is saying at this point you can stop him right there and say spirish bitter it was langsamer this means that please speak slowly so next time your partner speaks extremely extremely fast which is very difficult for you to understand you can simply say this and i promise you won't lose any marks now our tile t t okay our tile 2 consists of speak on the topic so for this tile again you will be receiving a card uh, i'll put the example or a picture on the screen if you see this card, the main topic will always be the highlighted part which will be always in the center and then you will get four helping points which are surrounding that main topic. Now, you have to speak on the given topic. It's basically a monologue and the topics are very general. For example, what are you doing on weekends or what do you do in your free time? What do you do for your health? What do you do with your pocket money? So basically everything that you do daily or your day-to-day -day activities, all those topics will be included in this style. So for example, uh, I have a paper right here and the topic is Was marks do opt arm woken ender. This means that what do you do often uh, on weekends? And I have four pointers that is sport, sports, yeman den bezukhen, do you visit anyone or do you visit someone? Wo means where and mit wem means with whom. So now, here is the thing, I am going to share extremely important thing when it comes to tile 2 and that is how do you speak on the given topic. Now, again, see the flashcard. Remember your main topic is the one which is in the middle. It can be in the form of question and it is always highlighted. Now, while starting a topic, you have to start with the main topic. You have to say two sentences on the main topic. It can be anything in general. For example, the topic I just said, that is what do you do often on weekends? You can start with that you wake up late, um, you have breakfast with your family. So these points are not your helping points. So this is the way you can start your main topic. So those sentences should not cover any of the helping points. Now, the next tip is that you have to give minimum two sentences. You have to speak minimum two sentences on each helping point. The third tip is that you don't have to follow any specific order when it comes to helping words. You can choose any word anytime but you need to cover all those four topics. Now if you really really want to score full marks in this particular tile, I would suggest add one of your helping word. Any helping word with the given topic would suffice. So any one to two sentences of your own will be amazing. And at the end, you can conclude it that you have a lot of fun in your weekends or um, it's the best day of your week. These are the best days of your week. Anything that will clearly conclude your topic. So by 13 to 14 sentences would be sufficient for your tile two. Now, your tile three consists of timetable or that's what I like to call it. Basically, you are going to get one timetable and your partner is going to get another timetable so for example this is the one timetable i will be getting and this is another timetable that my partner will be getting so uh, on both the pages the question or the topic is same so for example here the question is that my friend patrick has a birthday party coming soon and we have to together buy a gift for him so find a find an appointment or find a termin or whatever you want to call it i'll put the pictures on the screen if you see on the top there is day that is for example here i have zamstag and you will get 17 may or any date 
uh, provided. So basically you have a day and a date which will be same for both the timetables. Now what difference does both these timetables have is the free time you get separately. For example, the person A has a free time at 1 o'clock whereas the person B has no free time at 1 o'clock. So he is kind of, he is busy for SM by Stefan. So basically he is going for a, um, a lunch or for eating with Stefan. If you observe in both of these timetables, look at 5 p.m. Both of them are free at 5 p.m. But you don't know if the other person is free or not at 5 p.m. So, so what do you have to do here is first start addressing the topic. So for example, you can say that, hi, uh, this is Prarthana. Uh, how are you? Then the other person will reply to your question. Then you can start with the actual topic that, hey, our friend Patrick's um, birthday is coming soon. So we need to buy a gift for him. Are you free on seven o'clock? If you're free on seven o'clock, for example, I, uh, if I use this chart, then I am free at directly one o'clock. So I can ask that, hi, um, hi are you free at one o'clock? So he or she, can see his own timetable and if he is free then he can say yes he is free if he is not then he can say no he is not free suppose he is not free he can ask you question that hey i am free on this this timing are you free now if you are free you can say yes i am free you can suggest him the place where you're meeting so for example your the topic here is to buy a gift so you can say that you can meet at shopping mall and you can simply say that okay let's meet at five o'clock in shopping mall to buy the gift that's it that's what you have to do so the tips i would like to give for this specific tile is that if you have a blank space that means you are free at that particular time don't miss any blank space don't miss purposely any blank space because you don't know what if the other person is free or not at that specific time so if you see a blank space in your timetable ask the question the next step is that always start with addressing the topic so you have to tell why are you meeting for example here you have to buy a gift for your friend so address the topic first and then start with if your other partner is free or no Later, when you understand that at this particular timing, you both are free, then conclude the topic by saying that you're meeting on this day at this timing at this place. These three things are important. Day, timing and place. This is how you're going to conclude the timing. You can say buy, choose at the end. That's fine. But you need to conclude it this particular way. Now, I want to share one simple, hilarious experience one of my friend had. She asked basically all the timings and none of the timings were matching. That means that the other person was not free at all because he clearly didn't understand the timetable perfectly. So, so if this situation happens to you as well, that your partner doesn't really understand his timetable and that's one of the reasons why you cannot have any common mutual free timing. At this point, you can simply say that, okay, let's meet tomorrow at this time. You can clearly say at this time uh, for buying gift. You can conclude it this way. That is fine. Just don't go surprised or blank. It's fine. Certain people fumble, certain people get scared and they don't really understand the timetable. It's completely fine. You can just say, let's meet tomorrow at this timing, at this place, and that will be it. Okay, so these were my guidelines for your A2 expression exam. Let me know if it was helpful by any means. And if this video helped you in any way for your exam, then please let me know that as well. How did your exam go? Uh, what are your experience for expression exam? If you have already completed A2 and are still watching this video, then please uh, let me know in the comment section below how was your experience for expression exam and um, if you like such videos and if you want more such videos related to a2 give this video a big fat thumbs up and i'll meet you in the next video cheers